What's up? We have a solar eclipse coming to North America. It's the first one since 1979, so that was a long time ago. So uh, there's a lot of information out there on the web on how to shoot it with um, <clears throat> digital cameras, but guess what? Digital cameras weren't out then. So, uh, and a lot of people writing the articles weren't even born in 1979, so just take all of it with a grain of salt and uh, try to find a reputable source. Uh, B and H or something like that, but uh, uh, on B and H, you know, they said I was going to shoot it with this, and they, um, I kind of delayed it all, thinking about and getting ready for it, and um, they said you need one of these or not one of these, but this is what I was going to use in the first place, is a uh, neutral density filter, but they said you have to have one that's a solar neutral density filter. Look how dark that is. I think everything would be fine. It says, or you risk damaging your camera. So. That made me nervous, so I decided, uh, you know, I'm not going to do that. So um, I decided to do something else. And plus, the, the solar filters were like over $50 for one shot or one or two shots that I'll probably get out of it. So I was like, I, I'm not going to waste my money on that. So what I'm doing, I am shooting this on film just in case the camera screws up. I don't want to mess up my $1,000 digital camera. So I'm going to shoot this with a... Pentax SF1. I had this laying around. You might have. You might want to do this too. It's kind of fun uh, if you're shooting the eclipse, um, and, or if you haven't shot film in a in a while. I'll go over everything you need. So if, if you got your grandfather's camera, it probably looks like one or two of these. This one is kind of the more modern day film camera, and then you have this old school looking one. Um, you'll need a battery. This, uh, Maybe not necessary on some of these, but like this one, you know, you'll need an LR44 batteries. These can be found at the dollar store for a dollar, because it's a dollar store. Um, if you have one like this, you'll need a, a battery. There's a couple of different kinds, and they're like 15 bucks. So, C, uh, CR, was it? I can't remember the exact. 2CR5 is this one. That's what this this takes or you'll need these two other ones but you can figure it out but they'll, they'll be around 15 bucks for that battery so the cost kind of getting up there I hadn't shot film in a couple years and film like this used to cost four rolls of Fuji used to cost like six seven dollars uh, this was eleven dollars at Walmart so price has gone up the selection's gone down but you could still find film at Walmart CVS uh, Walgreens, they all have them. I looked at all of them. I was looking for 100 speed film. All they had was 200. So, the rolls of that. Um, what what am I going to be shooting with as far as the lens? Times two teleconverter. So what that does is doubles your lens. And I've got this old school manual focus film lens that I'll be using. Even though this camera that I'm using right now. It does have autofocus, but I'm going to go straight up manual focus anyway. So, this is a Takina 60 to 300 f 4.5 to 5.6. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to put this ND filter on it. And the, the area that I'm going to be shooting this eclipse in is only going to have about 30 seconds of the eclipse. So, anyway, you put that on there. Um, so, I'm going to have to try to shoot off as many shots as I can in that in that short period of time to try to get the best shot I can. So I'm going to um, put the ND filter on and just kind of bracket my exposure as I'm shooting. And uh, it's kind of going to be kind of hard to get the focus in. I'm going to put on the glasses, you know, and look through here and try to try to get a nice focus with it the uh, best I can. And then just, yeah, bracket my exposure and see what I get. So uh, go ahead and subscribe or, or stay tuned because um, to my next video that I'll say if I failed I'll try to show some of the shots that's the other thing about film everybody's gonna be uh, you know putting their shots out there on the web on social media like an hour after it happens but for film um, I'll just spit <laughs> for film it, it uh, you have to send it off so it's gonna take seven to day seven to ten days to get these back and then uh, yeah, so it'll take a while before you get them up there on social media. Everything's instant now, as you know. So, anyway, I just thought I'd show that off. So, this is the camera I'm going to be using with the, the ND. This is a variable ND filter, so if you don't know, you can 
it opens up. Oh, you can see that. See, it gets super dark. I, I think my digital would be fine if I use this, but like I said, I'm not going to risk the you know, damage in my camera. Here it is. The shut up a little close there. Oh. That's what I'm going to be using. Times two teleconverter on there. Thanks for watching. Come back in a couple of weeks and I'll uh, show off a couple of pictures and and uh, let you know my experience of shooting a solar eclipse. Thanks for watching.